Hi, I'm Megan Walker and this is the letter S in the A to Z of real-time marketing and this is all about segments. And I say that with a little bit of a shrug of the shoulders because when I say it's all about segments, it's not a whole lot to tell you really, but we're going to talk about it and we're going to talk about what it might be and what it potentially could be, but also what it is right now. So let's take a look and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I'm in the real-time marketing area and awesome, we have a section for audience and we've got segments as an option. Great, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on segments and I've got a list of all of the segments um, that are there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new segment. So if I do a dynamic marketing segment, I don't know if you noticed, but look at my menu down the side. We're now pushed back into outbound marketing. So if I go through and let's say I want to do one for people that have received an email. So I'm going to use that um, segment template and I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm now in the outbound marketing area. So I'm going to go and say um, email delivered segment. Um, I'm just going to use this um, and put something in here just so we can get rid of all the errors and then let's go ahead and save it. Uh, we'll check for errors and we're going to go ahead and go live. So that's all of the things that you should be used to already because you'll have been doing this in outbound marketing. So the segment passed the error check, that's great, it's live. If I go into the segments, um, where is it? Email delivered segment. Awesome. Okay. So if I go back into my real time marketing area and I go back into segments and I look at my email delivered segment, um, there it is. Now here's the weird thing at the minute it says you don't have access to edit this record. A little bit strange, right? If I go into the journeys area and I do a new journey, Segments are still potentially going to be what I use for a customer journey. However, having said that, the real benefit of using real-time marketing is really the event-based one. So starting from an, an event trigger, that's where the benefit and the purpose of using real-time marketing comes in. We can do a segment-based one. So I can basically start the journey of somebody's part of a specific segment. And I can go ahead and what did I call this? Oh, email de delivered segment. There it is. So I can go ahead and I can pick this one, but it's, again, I, for me, I would then use outbound marketing because the benefit, unless I want to be doing text messages or push notifications, if everything else is the same and it's just going to be a regular email, I would probably do it in outbound marketing at this moment in time. So I don't know when, can't give you any information because I don't necessarily have it, but I do know that the plan is that we'll be able to build out segments for leads and for other types of records. So whether that's about opportunities or custom entities, whatever it might be. And that's information that's out there that's um, been part of Wave 2, that's been part of what Microsoft have listed as going to be features. So for now, that's why I say segments. There's not a whole lot for me to say because it's still coming. So keep that in mind really at this point real-time marketing is still fairly new so I would say again unless you're doing real-time sorry unless you're doing something for a segment and you're wanting to um, do a text message if you can I would say only use uh, the journeys for real-time marketing journeys tied in with an event trigger if you can at all possible because for the moment we're still waiting for something to come out with segments so we can build out a segment that we want to be able to send stuff to leads because that is still supposed to be coming so I'll put a link to a reference in the documentation for from Microsoft so you can see what I'm referring to and as soon as it's available I will put something out about it but for now this is all I've got for you on segments it is what it was but it will be something different. <laughs> so any thoughts, comments, what do you hope it looks like eventually? Um, I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't wanna miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and 
click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.